Yo, Diplo, we're here to see your gym and fridge. Hey. Come on in. I'll show you my fridge and my house. Always, always practicing, always working out. I'm just gonna do some chicken squats every once in a while. All right, Diplo, we've got a bunch of questions about your gym, then we're gonna check out what's in your fridge, and then we have a lightning round of questions at the end. Here we are, this is my studio space, and uh, we have some bedrooms and some studios in this house. And um, we kind of utilize the rest of the space to exercise and work out or do whatever. But I like, to do, I like to do yoga at my house as well, so here's my little yoga mat. That looks like an expensive yoga mat. Yeah, let me show you some yoga moves. Uh, this is the yoga, you know, you gotta do your little like, you go down and then you do your like upward dog and then you do your like downward dog. This one's called like a, uh, I forgot this one's called like a chin thing. Where you like, you go like and put your chin. So I can do some yoga moves, but I'll show you the more advanced ones later because it's really early and I'm still drunk from last night. So what are your fitness goals? My fitness goals in general are just like not to die and stay fit because I like to take my shirt off a lot on Instagram. So it's good to like at least have muscles and stuff. Do you have any scars? Scars, yeah, I have a scar on my lip. I used to box. I got punched in my lip. And in fact, the whole the whole thing is I my tooth got knocked out too, which is like a veneer right now, it's gold. So my tooth got knocked out when I was like 18. And I pushed it back in. And but it died, so I had to like get a root canal and it started like getting worse and worse. Eventually I just got this like two new tooth in, like last week actually. What's your most meaningful tattoo? Um, all my tattoos are pretty bad. They don't really mean anything. But I got a bunch. But they're all from Florida. So I got like, uh, I, I got this when I was, I was five years old. Really? I'm from Daytona Beach, so you can get tattoos really early there. Here's my son's initials. That's my grandma. She used to smoke, ch chain smoke cigarettes and she had a turtle in her backyard, so I got this in honor of her. That's a Challenger shuttle, anybody remember that? You guys are old. It blew up when I was in Florida, I was younger, I had to watch it from like, my parents like, go out watch this space shuttle, and it just exploded. Oh wow. It's terrible. Yeah, so I'll show you guys the other areas that I work out, because this is kind of the outdoor area, which is cool, but I like to be inside sometimes. It's been cold this year, I'll be honest. This is one, there's like, there's like 40 levels to this house. It just keeps going forever. Oh, what music do you listen to when you work out? Here, here's, Kla here's Klaus. He's from the um, Austrian Conservatory of Music. I have him come here sometimes and play music for me when I work out. Yeah, I play music all the time, all day long. Play something play for me while I do some push-ups, Klaus. <sighs> Klaus, can you play something like a little more, a little more jazzy? That's nice. Stretches. It's early morning. Okay, Dibble, how do you keep your mind healthy? I've been meditating a lot lately. Every night before I go to bed or in the morning. I thought you were a DJ, but I see a ukulele. Can you play it? I don't know if it's tuned. Klaus, you did good. You can take a break. Okay. I don't know if I remember this. That's passenger baggy pop. Okay. okay, where's the fridge, Diplo? Wow, that's a well-stocked fridge. We have some great asparagus here, but also we go to Air One. These are great, these are also from Air One. These are ones from French History. They're just ginger shots that I would drink, shake them up. Looks like you're really into juice. Every day, probably twice a day. And you just put this in there. And put this, look, at how con look at this concoction. Do you have any prepared food in there? Oh, this is soup. I'll uh, cook up the soup for everyone. You can keep these forever. Anything you'd never have in there? 
I don't drink cow's milk. I drink almond milk or hemp milk. Bottles of Dom, oh, you're fancy, huh? It's good because it blocks like the other condiments that I use more often, like sriracha. Apples. I will eat one a day, keep the doctor away. And chicken. What kind of bread is that? Oh, this is Ezekiel bread. You're not gluten free, are you? Not really. But everything in the house, I try to be really healthy because that's my own stuff, but then um, I'll eat anything, to be honest. What's in the baggie? Is that oregano? This is wheat. I don't know why it's in the refrigerator. You got a lot of eggs in there. Those are our fresh eggs. As you see, we date them usually, and then put the eggs in there. Oh, this is the raw vegetables because I do actually, we do actually make shakes and stuff over here. There's actually a lot of cool stuff, guys. There's lots of stuff we make teas out of, like, all this weird shit, I don't know what it is. Rishi and Heishawu. And else is really good. Brain octane oil, and TC oil, always put that in your coffees and teas. Let me close the refrigerator, guys. This isn't, this isn't cheap. Let's keep, you don't ever keep refrigerator doors open. All right, Diplo, I don't know where we're going, but I'm excited. This is, uh, this is Beyonce and Kelly. Where's Michelle? Michelle has passed away. Oh my God. Guys, I didn't plan this. Two fresh eggs. Do you eat those eggs? Yeah, what I do is usually clean the poop off the eggs and then take them upstairs and, and like put the date on them so I make sure I don't eat all the eggs. But okay, it's time for rapid fire questions. 7 a.m. workout or 7 p.m. workout? Um, 7 a.m. Actually, I would say 8 a.m. 7 a.m. is a little bit early. When you grab a chicken, you want to be like really like forceful but yet fair because they'll they'll know if they're being they're being grabbed. So you want to be like chill. I'm just gonna do some chicken squats every once in a while. Ooh, look at this guy. Ooh, did she like that? Yeah, it's good because it gives you a little bit of air, so when you're hot, the flapping kind of helps you out a little bit. Favorite song on your playlist? Um, you know, when I work out, I like to listen to Blueface. Tatiana, that's a good one. Crossfit, yay or nay? I'm not really into Crossfit. What happened to this bush? Is it, this is my neighbor's yard. I don't even want this bamboo in my yard. What is this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy that guy's house. Just like cut this shit out. Pull-ups or chin-ups? Uh, I don't know what a chin-up is, I do pull-ups. Dumbbells or kettlebells? I'm gonna have to say dumbbells. Cardio or weights? Um, I'm into cardio. Run on a treadmill or run in the great outdoors? I love running outside, but when I'm on a treadmill, I can at least know where I'm, where I'm going. Big legs or big arms? Damn. For me or for... I'm about to say big, big arms, because I, I, just, I used to wrestle when I was younger, and I had these giant legs that I don't even do any exercises on these legs. Look at this thing. These are tree trunks. I have these giant leg muscles that I don't even do. I've never done a squat in my life. What's the biggest compliment? Jack, rip, cut, or swole? Uh, cut's pretty good. I think cut's better. I'm not really swole. Jacked, I think, means you're on drugs. I forget the other one you said. Ripped, man. Ripped is pretty good. It feels like Hulk Hogan. Or Macho Man Randy Savage. You are like my idols, actually. If you could work out with anyone, dead or alive, who would it be? Probably Mozart. Mozart, interesting. <laughs> yes. All right, so I gotta get out of here. But it's been nice having you. The chickens love me. 